Hey everyone, this is Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping and I am continuing my series showing you how I diagnose my clients QuickBooks. I have done already several videos and in this video I'll be showing you part 1 of how I review the balance sheet and I'll be focusing on the assets section. Now the reason why I do a diagnosis is actually because I do a paid diagnostic review for my clients before ever doing any sort of cleanup. And this way I know exactly what's wrong with their books and can price a, a cleanup accordingly. So anyway, stay tuned. Here is my demonstration of how I review the asset section of the balance sheet. Okay, so I am in the balance sheet for my sample company. It is called a, a Modern Global. And I am reviewing um, the year ended uh, December 31, 2021. And we'll go ahead and get started. And normally, I do like to review from the report. So in this case, I am review reviewing from the balance sheet. And I work my way down. Now, in some cases, for example, here with the bank balances, I've already done a separate video for you showing how I review the bank balances. I don't actually review them from the balance sheet. I have uh, other methods for doing that. So look for that video. Uh, then next is accounts receivable. And I am reviewing on an accrual basis. So I would expect to see a balance for accounts receivable for this particular client. Now, as it happens, so they're their accounts receivable balance is negative. So already I know there's a problem. And I've already pulled up their accounts receivable aging report for the same period. And what we can see is that there are a lot of just old credit balances. And that's why we end up with a, a credit or negative balance in accounts receivable. So this definitely has to be reviewed and cleaned up. Next, I will look at the section for other current assets. First is inventory asset. Typically, uh, if a client is tracking inventory, you would then run an inventory valuation summary report and ensure that the balance agrees to what's on the balance sheet. In this particular case, I ran the, the uh, inventory valuation summary report and it shows a zero balance. So there is an issue here. So let's go ahead and click and see what's going on. And I do see quite a few bills going into, um, into this account. So let's, I'm just going to go ahead and click and open one. Oh, okay. So yes, this is a problem. So the client has been entering their vendor bills directly to the inventory asset account. And so it looks like they haven't set up inventory correctly. So this is an issue that needs to be cleaned up, both from a setup standpoint, as well as then recategorizing all of these transactions and entering them correctly using items. So they would need to use inventory items to track inventory correctly. I'll click back to report summary to go back to my balance sheet report. And next we have prepaid insurance. This is something that I would probably click and drill down and see what's in the account. Uh, typically for clients who are tracking prepaid insurance, you'd want to do a reconciliation of what's in that account just to make sure that um, you don't have any old balances sitting there. Next, we have uncategorized asset. That is a problem. We never want to have uncategorized uh, anything in QuickBooks. So let's go ahead and click, see what's there. And so it looks like we have a deposit that was entered incorrectly, um, some sort of journal entry to, um, oh, to record an opening balance. Okay. And then a credit card transaction. Oh, well, it says it's a payment. Sometimes we also see transfers being incorrectly entered to uncategorized assets. So all of these have to be reviewed and uh, we'd have to then determine what are the correct accounts to use and, and then recategorize these transactions. Next, uh, undeposited funds. I have a separate video on that, but normally you don't review undeposited funds from the balance sheet. You would do it from the plus sign and bank deposit, and that's where you would see if you have old transactions in undeposited funds. 
And on to fixed assets. We have um, computers and furniture and fixtures. Typically here, we're looking for transactions that um, may have been recorded as fixed assets, but that are um, not fixed assets. So I'll go ahead and click on furniture and fixtures. And well, it looks like it might may be uh, recorded correctly. I would certainly review those, but these, at least from an uh, amount perspective, they are material amounts and may fit the category for furniture and fixtures. And they also the vendor's furniture king. But in this case, if I haven't seen um, a vendor bill for these, I would probably review that and make sure that they are fixed assets. If this content is helping you, make sure that you like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can get all of my latest videos. I'm Veronica Wasek with 5-Minute Bookkeeping.